Pisces. Hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Let us dive right in. So as of right now, we have the Six of Wands and the Page of Swords in reverse coming out as your overall energy, which is the message here that spirit is guiding you forward, moving you to a clearer, more comfortable, safe feeling time. But we feel like right now there's a lot of resistance um, with this changing of energy. Now, this is, this is, common because uh, us empaths, we dislike change um, because change is um, a new energy. And when it's new, it's unfamiliar and unfamiliar brings forth fear. Tends, we tend to overthink this, right? But this is where tuning into your higher self and what your intuition is leading you towards is going to benefit you. Because when your intuition or your higher self is guiding you and you've established this relationship or this connection with this part of you, then you are going to feel okay trusting and allowing spirit to guide you through this transition that you're going through right now, okay? So it's really important to recognize that your higher self spirit will always guide you to your highest good and the highest good of all of that matter. So whatever it is that you truly want inside the depths of your soul, right? The core of who you are, what who you really are, not the filters and layers of conditioning and limiting beliefs that have happened throughout the course of your lifetime, but who you really are, who is going to you're you're going to be guided towards that outcome okay and what we can see here is that there does look to be some collaboration some form of community ultimately your soul family coming forward okay so you are going to meet them and you are going to have a, a special bond with those that are meant to be in your life okay um people that respect you and support you and appreciate you. But that first comes from you aligning with who you really are. And then those relationships will come forward quickly after. If you're in the process or if you're in an, an energy where you are um, feeling like you are mm, perhaps maybe finding yourself comparing your life to others, or you find yourself amidst drama, maybe more often than not, maybe you're working with coworkers that are um, energetically not really, um, you know, aligning with your energy, uh, maybe, you know, just in environments uh, that don't feel very safe, right? They feel a little displeasing for you. Um, understand that um, it's important to recognize that if you focus on what doesn't please you, it's going to leak over into other areas of your life. And we can see here there's a lovers in reverse, which is insinuating that perhaps there might be some overthinking to do with the relationship or having a soulmate. Okay. The soulmate energy is here for you, but if you are constantly comparing your life and if you are welcoming in that, that kind of energy that is very negative, then you are going to be then you're going to be pushing away the energy of attracting in who is meant to be in your life. Okay. The universe is guiding you forward. You do not need to think. You do not need to control. You do not need to decide right now. You simply just need to let the universe guide you so the universe can guide you into your soulmate energy or allow the passion in your current relationship to come to a return. Okay. Either way, this is an organic process. Humans become very uncomfortable in uncomfortable positions and they tend to rush this process, which tends to lead to a lot of indecision, a lot of unfocused energy, a lot of second guessing and doubting oneself. But you no know, need to because you are being guided to a time of great succession, joy, happiness, and achievements. But you must let this natural process of the universe guide you forward so that you you are able to always live the life that you want for you. And that means that it is important for you to strategize. In other words, prioritize where you place your focus. If you want a soulmate, 
Don't you dare place your focus on the fact that you don't have one because that's simply going to keep bringing in the energy of not having one. The universe's law of attraction is a mirror. So whatever we think about, we must think about it as if we've already have it, right? That money that you want, you already have it. It's already in your bank account. That lover that you desire, it's already in your in your bed, that that passion that you'd want between the relationship you already have, it's already present amongst you. It's got to stay focused on it though, right? Otherwise, we're only going to feel disconnected. Forget about feeling separated and disappointed and at a loss. All of those energies are honored, but we must not stay and linger in that energy. If there are wounds from your past that have not been healed through Pisces, you've got to heal those. Otherwise, they will haunt you in your adult life, removing you from remaining focused, removing you from being able to remain clear on who you are. That's why this first step out of any step is to connect to your higher self so that you are able to let spirit guide you, right? Because no matter what, if you're not able to be guided, I did, then you're always going to constantly be in this state of needing to do things by yourself, right? So no right now is an opportunity for you to heal that inner, those inner child wounds. Perhaps sit with yourself. Any emotions that come up, breathe through those. Don't shove those back down. Remember, emotion is energy in motion. So we want to keep that energy moving. We don't want to hold it in. We don't want to hold our breath. We don't want to not look at it. We want to breathe through it and we want to release it. The best way to release it is breathe up and out through our crown chakra. Usually energy gets stuck like right here. We can't breathe. Our chest gets heavy, right? We want to shove it back down. We'll do something that will try to make us feel better, right? Consume something or whatever, but we want to breathe that energy out, up and out so that we feel much better, much more clear. It does look like there is going to be a purpose or a moment of clarity that's going to come forward for you here, Pisces. This is why it's really important to not get too hung up on what is happening and more just get start to tune into what does feel good for you. Because what does feel good for you is going to be what guides you forward. Your bliss and your joy always leads you towards your salvation. Bliss and joy leads you to your purpose. Purpose. You don't find your purpose from a place of dissatisfaction. You, your purpose finds you from bringing forth the energies of your ideas that leaves you feeling inspired. So inspired action, not anxious action, not overthinking action, not worried action, right? But inspired action. Inspired action will always guide you forward. And we see here that again, you will be feeling very clear very soon here, right? Okay. So a lot of clarity is going to come forward for what you're specific purpose is. But remember, we go through the motions of life. So universe guides us along our path. And all we have to do is honor what we're feeling curious and inspired to do because those, those little action steps compound into the bigger picture. You see, for the last three to four years, I've been guided towards learning different things, not really under knowing why, but just understanding that's what was making me feel good at the time. And it's compounded to now for me having this vast amount of data and knowledge in regards to empaths and their childhood and how it affects our adult, how to heal those energy blockages, how to connect to higher self for me to be able to move forward and write books. But if I hadn't, wasn't guided and wasn't, if I wasn't, in, you know, aware that I needed to be guided, right, I may have resisted this, all I needed to know know was that I was being guided. I honored my spirit. I honored what brought me, uh, what brought me joy, what brought me, you know, a sense of curiosity, whatever I was curious about. I went and learned. I let spirit become my guide. Spirit guided me through these last years. I am now fully able and aware of what comes next and that we'll be doing some form of writing of some kind. But either way, had I not just listened I wouldn't have been able to be guided into opportunities for myself because I wasn't doing the work, you see. So you just got to listen, tune in, do the work because new opportunities arise from you just simply listening to what your spirit is calling. You don't need to do anything that doesn't feel right. There's no shoulds. There's no this. There's no that. There's simply just having a good time, feeling peace, creating art, perhaps reading something that's going to expand your soul, expand your wisdom. But at this time, it's really about just tuning into what you are curious about, because that is going to lead you to the beautiful new opportunities, beginnings, and perhaps that soulmate energy that you are asking for. All right, Pisces. So 
Listen, just listen. That's all you have to do. Just listen and go for it, okay? Just listen and go for it. And that is going to segue into your angel message of time to go. Your angels are saying the sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So even though something may come to an end, that's okay because it means that something new is arising, right? So don't get too caught up in energies. Just, just be open. Again, everything is just an experience, not meant to be taken good nor bad, simply just an experience. And the more that we experience with an open heart, the more abundant our life becomes. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.